the last race I was at, I'm sitting over there eating my chili dog. All of a sudden, everyone starts chanting my name. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I ate like 10 chili dogs. Who's starting on the pole? I can calculate that right now. All right. Let's look at look at Chase Elliott's finish of Anthony Alfredo's fastest lap. Let me tell you something. As an American, there's three things you don't do. All right? Number one, you don't disrespect Dale Earnhardt. Number two, you don't mess with the flag. Number three, you don't move the numbers on a NASCAR NASCAR. I mean, I already had to give up Jimmy John's for Subway. Now I have to hate Chase Elliott? What are you doing, Kevin? At owner points, uh, you gotta look at stage two, remember? Because of that five point swing. So let's deduct the five points from here, but add the five points. It's your friend, Ricky the Electrician. Let me tell you something. The other day I went to a racetrack and they told me you can't bring that cooler in here. And ooh, I was madder than a hornet in an old cocaine. I forgot, he had the lug nut penalty. So he's disqualified. So we have to move all this up. Honestly, this year was pretty good for us trophy makers. We just pre-engraved Kyle Larson's name into everything and uh, turned out pretty well. All right, and it looks like your pole center for the race would be Kevin LePage. <laughs> Crap, I didn't carry the four. So Pitbull co-owns Trackhouse, and Trackhouse bought Ganassi, right? Yeah, he co-owns Trackhouse. And Ganassi merged with DEI, correct? Yeah, they merged like 10 years ago or something. Does this now mean that Pitbull co-owns Dale Earnhardt Incorporated? What?